environmental, economic, and social variables are being studied at Colombia's biggest continental wetland, the Zapatosa wetland. This ecosystem is spread between the Caesar and Magdalena departments and five municipalities, Chimichagua, Tamalameque, El Banco, Chiriguana, and Curumani. Here, 150,000 people live and 170,000 heads of cattle graze. This marshland ecosystem is the habitat of numerous migratory birds. And it is also a feeding and breeding ground for fish, birds, mammals, reptiles, and other species. The biological cycles of the fish have adapted to the conditions of the water, of the Cienega River complex. During the dry season, they swim up the Subienda River, facing difficult conditions in the marshes, during which they will have to complete their annual reproductive cycle. By contrast, during the rainy season and during floods, underweight adult fish return to the marshes, where environmental conditions are more appropriate, a phenomenon known as downstream migration. These conditions result in 70% of fishing being concentrated between November and January. The most economically important species of fish are Boca Chico, striped catfish, nicuro, tilefish, pacora, doncella, and yellow tilapia. There is a great variety of fish here. You have catfish, tilefish, dorada, chango, comelon. You have boca chico as well. A whole range of species that are not commercially fished, but that people have had to rescue them because commercial species have been declining or going extinct. Like catfish in Boca Chico, which used to be the most important for the economy and for the local cuisine. The critical environmental situation of the Zapatosa ecosystem and of Central Caesar can be explained by different causes, such as poverty, illegal mining, low educational levels, and geographic isolation. Exogenous variables, such as climate change, affect the rain and flooding cycle of the Magdalena River Basin. This in turn accentuates the flooding and drought cycles in the lower Magdalena. Traditionally, the most common fishing technique has been net casting, but this has been replaced by stationary nets like trammel nets, sin nets, and tangle nets. In the marshes, gill nets and trawling have always been forbidden, but fishermen ignored this prohibition and continued catching fish illegally. <laughs> Overfishing happens every day of the year, since fishermen lay down trammels of up to 2,000 meters long and only lift them for a brief time to pick up their catch. This is how cultural and social processes, as well as the daily activities of fishermen in the marshes, coupled with the culture of illegal fishing, continue to harm the wetlands, promoting its overexploitation and causing the decline within this ecosystem of species that the area's inhabitants depend on. At this time, a good management plan has been put forth by the government agencies with jurisdiction on the matter. They propose the creation of an environmental plan with a clearly identified diagnosis and clearly established strategies to mitigate, compensate, and correct all of the environmental damage being done to the marshland. Activities are being established with an eye to recover the marshland and designed to work on the social factor as the method to mitigate damage to the marshland. TV Agro Channel visited the Zapatosa marshlands in order to see the environmental and social problems up close and encountered a major surprise. 
El repoblamiento de la ciénaga con... The repopulation of the marsh with more than 5 million Boca Chico alevins in a quest to conserve the species in this part of the country. Other goals are to give the fishermen business opportunities, to create jobs, and to recover the ecosystem. To achieve these goals, the government is training all of the fishermen in the area, especially those that continue to fish using illegal methods. We have been raising each other's awareness and we've educated a lot of people. We've had to look at this matter carefully because we were going down the wrong path. We're also happy about this new project that is underway right now. The Alevin repopulation, the 5,150,000 Alevins that will ensure that we will have increased production in the marsh. Right now, the state government has been undertaking a repopulation project of 5,150,000 Boca Chico Alevins in the Zapatosa Marshlands complex. At the same time, they are training and educating fishermen on which fishing methods are legal and what are the allowed sizes to comply with current fishing regulations. To summarize the extent to the different stakeholders here in the Zapatosa marshlands, there are four municipalities in the province of Cesar and one, Banco, in the province of Magdalena. There are approximately 8,500 fishermen throughout the marshlands. This is the great natural enterprise we have here, where all of the families that surround this ecosystem can generate an income and achieve economic security. But there are a lot of difficulties facing us, so what are the alternatives? To implement better fishing methods to prevent over-exploitation of the marshland's resources. To try to implement conservation methods to preserve the various species, those that are in danger of becoming extinct, and those that are still viable. At any rate, environmental education is key because to the extent that humans are ignorant of how to preserve their environment, they will make mistakes, not consciously, but through ignorance. As government agencies teach us those methods and give us those tools, we will gradually change, and together, we will build a better future for our grandchildren, as our grandparents did, responsibly managing the ecosystem.